The future here is really one where our development goals, our, our goals for a better life for our people, are tied and linked to our goals for reducing air pollution. It's possible to put those two things together. You may not know it, but solid waste is a big chunk of the emissions in every developing country. And if we move from dumping that waste in a landfill to composting, to recycling, to reusing that waste in industrial facilities like cement kilns, we can cut emissions in a country like Colombia by 16%. In the last decade, uh, Cali has had two tiers to its solid waste system. One is large private operators uh, collect waste and take it to a modern landfill. The other side of that is a community of uh, traditional garbage pickers who do their job unrecognized to the city and in very poor conditions. NAMAS is just a fancy word for policy actions. What we're talking about here is developing countries, taking action in a policy sector, and then combining that with a financial mechanism that creates incentives for companies to reduce those emissions and to take the kinds of actions we're after. In Colombia, re recycling activities are done by informal people, by pickers, and this kind of projects uh, will help us to improve their standard of living. For the first time in history, garbage is worth something. So we need to extract that value to generate opportunities for the private sector in our city, both as consumers of waste and also to generate revenues for, for the municipality. A solid waste policy with international financial support, like what Canada has given here to Colombia, reduces the emissions that cause climate change. And at the same time, it helps the economy. We're hoping that the new future Colombia is building here will inspire other developing and developed countries to take action together. These countries are showing us the way, and we need to heed that, we need to follow it. All of us together can solve our development and climate challenges. I'm Ned Helm, I'm the president of CCAP.